The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents Dave and Friends, Episode 18, The Most Devious Conspiracy Untold, Part 2 Dave called his friends to a meeting to discuss a matter that nagged at Cedric. The gang told Dave that he was the main target of a ghastly plot by the evil forces. As the previous episode was ending, Cedric's parents, Mr. Rudolph and Mrs. J.D., arrived. JCTN Squad. We think we know the answers to those questions. And you won't believe what we're about to say. Mom. Dad. What are you doing here? I tried to contact you a few weeks ago, but your mom told me that you've been busy taking down troublemakers. So I brought your dad here in Dave's universe just to see you. I see. I'm sorry for not informing you, Dad. It's okay, Cedric. I understand your responsibility as a troublemaker slayer, and I do respect that. So you're Cedric's dad, I presume? That's right, Dave Madsen. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Nurse. So anyway, what is it that you're going to tell us? Oh, right. Kennedy asked why the evil forces are always so obsessed with Dave and what their purpose is, am I right? That's right, Mrs. JD. So, my husband and I think that it is the right time to tell you guys about the evil forces' most diabolical plan. And you guys won't believe it when we say this, so listen up very carefully. Okay, tell us what you know. For 12 years of battling with the Prince of Darkness and the evil forces in Dave's universe, we just found out something unbelievable. Dave Madsen was the evil forces' most reliable subject for their worldwide domination plot. What? Wait a minute. Wait a freaking minute. Dave is the wicked being's reliable subject? That's right. Microsoft Sam. In other words, Dave Madsen is being used as the devil's puppet. Oh, no! I knew it. I knew it all along. So our speculations are right. Dave is the evil force's key to their master plan. And that's why those wicked beings are so obsessed with Dave and want to claim him as their nefarious subject. Me? The devil's... puppet? Oh... My! Are you alright, Dave? Wow, just wow. I can't believe Dave was being used as the evil forces' puppet for the wicked beings' master plan. I know, Astro. It is indeed the most shocking revelation we ever heard. So that's why those wicked beings keep on claiming Dave as their property. I agree, Miss M. This is even more complicated than we expected. You said it, Terry. How? How did I... Dave, why didn't you tell us? Yeah. We didn't know you were being used as the evil forces puppet. All of us didn't know. What did the evil forces want with you? Really? Later, after Rhonda and Anna helped Dave recover from his major mind blow. Dave? Dave? Speak to us. It's a very long story, guys. I couldn't imagine I would be involved in the evil force's most devious plot. Do you remember the last time you encountered him, Dave? I... I do, Mr. Nars. It was way back in 2015, after the events of LTID 100. During my hiatus from YouTube, I found myself in the presence of that infernal overlord, and he always seemed to tempt me wherever I went. I see. Satan tempted you unstoppably just to make you fall into his trap. Yes. Whenever he tempted me, I couldn't sleep at night, eat, drink, or even go outside. I even suffered horrible nightmares about him making me suffer. It's like me and Brutus having nightmares about something horribly bad happening to our friends. I agree, Freddy. But I always managed to get hold of myself and forget about what happened. Good for you, Dave. 
But unfortunately, one day, his infernal presence nearly got the best of me when I stumbled down a very steep hill and grabbed a branch to keep from falling. And that is where I met Dave for the first time and saved him from an almost certain death. That's what you told us in LT Loopers 101. Yes, Wally. And that's how I became Dave's personal bodyguard. Now we get the point. Dave had been tempted by the Prince of Darkness that almost caused death. And Rhonda saved him and the evil presence vanished. But what's it got to do with Dave being the evil forces subject? Maybe the evil forces like Dave more than anyone. What? That can't be real! Are you freaking serious, Harry? I'm absolutely serious, Pedro. Those wicked beings really want Dave to be their loyal property, because they think that Dave has some kind of ludicrous power that Satan will use for his master plan. Ludicrous power, you say? Is it similar to Captain Madsen's superpower? Kind of, but it is very different from that. Then what kind of ludicrous power does Dave have? It's called the Omega Factor. The Omega Factor? Omega Factor? Never heard of that kind of power before. Neither do I, Astro. I've heard of the Meow Wolf Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, known as Omega Mart, but I've never heard of Omega Factor. What's that? Hold on. I have the Omega Factor? We... We think you have it, Dave. But what exactly is the Omega Factor? Omega Factor is somewhat similar to the Omni Power, but it is basically the rarest power source that only the most trustworthy man can ever wield. However, the Omega Factor has two sides. One, the power of goodness. And two, the power of evil. Wait, what? The Omega Factor has an evil side too. Yes, apparently. So, if the Prince of Darkness and his wicked minions want Dave as their nefarious pulpit, does it mean that the Prince of Darkness will be using the Omega Factor for his most devious plan? Exactly. This Omega Factor reminds me of the Force in the Star Wars films. And the Prince of Darkness tempting Dave is like when Darth Vader tempted Luke Skywalker. Exactly. Oh no, Dave? I... I have nothing much else to say about it. Dave, we understand how you feel right now. But your life in this universe is at major risk. And that's why we came here to help you. To save the entire Dave Madsen universe from the evil force's most devious plan. My parents are right. Dave. We better stop the Prince of Darkness and the remaining wicked beings from proceeding with their master plan. Because if we don't, the Prince of Darkness will conquer the whole world as we speak, and you'll be turning back on us. Don't be upset about everything you have witnessed, Dave. We must act together before it's too late. Zed's right. If all of us can't do it, no one else can. So, Dave. Can you help us? There are no other options. We must take the evil forces down once and for all. What Mrs. Nars says is true, Dave. And besides, this is for the protection of our babies. Dave, you are my future cousin, and we have to work together to defeat those wicked beings. I know, right, Astro? Good thing they weren't using me as the evil forces' as puppet for the wicked beings' as master plan. Otherwise, I would have suffered big time. The fate of the universe is at stake, Dave, and we must take action. You believe in us, Dave like we believe in you. As the mightiest superheroes in the universe, we can do whatever it takes to win. No matter how hard we try, we can't just stand around and do nothing. We have to prepare for the most unexpected. This is by far the toughest mission we'll ever face, and we must accomplish it. That's right. No matter how worse the trouble is getting, a true superhero will never surrender. No matter how painful we feel, we can gain it and resist it. Neither bad troublemakers nor diabolical entities can take us down mercilessly. Every troublemaker we face is either spoiled or purely evil. And no matter how many times we defeat every troublemaker around, they don't deserve a flawless victory. Let's think of the possibilities that a superhero can and can't do. We can make the impossible possible. We are the heroes in this story, and the evil forces are, so to speak, the villains. Even you, Dave Madsen, the founder of this studio, the godfather of logo intro bloopers, are the hero in your own story. And we can finish the whole story by defeating the evil forces once and for all, and achieving the true happy ending. And that is the JCTN Squad and Heroes League 98's true final mission. <sighs> for 12 years of creating good, sometimes bad, text-to-speech videos on YouTube, 
and being the godfather of the logo intro blooper genre, I didn't realize that I had this ludicrous power and I was the evil force's main target. I kept telling those wicked beings that they don't owe me, but every time I said that, they told me it was bullshit. And they really want me to suffer until I keel over and die. I... I really couldn't stand their intimidating temptations anymore. That's why I didn't want to go outside and continue my own adventure just to keep myself free from danger and those infernal imps. Dave. But I now know the truth. The Prince of Darkness really wanted me to be his loyal subject because of my Omega Factor, which sickens my mind, heart, and soul to the maximum level. And I... I don't really know if I ever want to be a friend again. Don't say stuff like that. Dave. You're still our friend, and we won't let you turn away from us and get yourself into the evil force's hands. Cedric's right, Dave. We superheroes are always here to protect you and the world we live in, and we won't let the evil forces make you an evil puppet and take over the world. You still have hope, Dave. Only you can change everything and set things right. Yeah. The logo intro bloopers slash parodies genre will never be the same without you. You know what? You're right. I am not alone. I am the only hope. I can defeat the evil forces and save the world. That's right. Now I know what true superheroes are for. Well said, Dave. Now that's what I'm talking about. Dave finally shows his true moxie. I am Dave Madsen, the ultimate superhero born with courage and justice. With the Heavenly Forces, the Angelus Warriors, the JCTN Squad, the Heroes League 98, and the deities of Unova on my side, I can help break the power of the evil forces and save the world from utter chaos. And my Omega Factor will never be claimed by their wicked hands. This, this is who I am. That's my husband. That's the spirit, Dave Madsen. We can help you destroy the powers of the Prince of Darkness and stop him and his evil minions proceeding with their devious plans. We must save the world before the infernal domination strikes. I won't let you down, Mr. and Mrs. Nars. Everyone is counting on me. I can reshape the future of my creative universe. Very good, Dave. Now that everything is settled, let's have an intense training session. Good idea, Cedric. We really want our superpowers to become stronger to defeat the evil forces. I agree, Miss M. Let's move our bones and muscles and boost our powers. We made reservations at Gigi's gym. Where we can get good. And be fit. You and Rhonda can lead the way. I'm due for a workout myself. Shall we go, Dave? By all means, Rhonda. The whole gang's coming along. GG's Jim, here we come. This has been a Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. production.